Hey guys, it's me, DDP, and welcome to another Motivational Monday. Today is November 14th, 2016, and what a crazy week this was. Wow. Um, crazy and amazing and bewildering and a lot of things, a lot of things. But I'm going to take the positive, the most positive thing that came out of it, and I'm going to show you how that can work for you. See, this has nothing to do with political views. I don't care if you're a Trump fan, a Hillary fan, or if you hated them both. I don't care. I want you to take one little thing and think, wow, wow, that actually really worked. And how did that ever really work? How the hell did Donald Trump become the president when everybody right up till the ticking time came Hillary's going to slam dunk him. Like, man. And then it started to shift. Like, momentum is a really crazy thing. So how did that happen? How did Donald Trump go through some of the most, huh, the most adversity any politician or really any public figure had, especially when they're trying to reach the pinnacle of everything, which in our country, really the world, is to be the president of the United States. Now, it's not a job I ever want, but it's the most powerful spot in the world. How did Trump do it? So I had to go back and really think about, I remember a time I was clicking the channels and I stopped on the view. And I think this could have been six, seven years ago. I'm not exactly sure when the date was, but yes, sometimes I'd watch the view. You got a problem with that? <laughs> I'm watching the view. And I see Donald Trump's on there, and Barbara Walters, back when she used to still be on The View, she was interviewing him. And Donald had written a book called Think Like a Champion. And she said to him, Donald, Donald, what are the three things you need to do to think like a champion? He said, that's easy. He said, number one, and I'm paraphrasing this. He didn't say it exactly like this. But this is how I heard it. He said, number one, you got to know your craft. You got to know it inside out and upside down. And if you don't, you need to be on your way to knowing what you are doing better than anybody. Constantly be working at it. Number two, you got to love it. You got to love it so much that you never feel like you're working 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. You gotta be loving it so it never feels like work. She goes, okay, that makes sense. What's number three? He said, that's easy, just maul. Never quit. And she took a breath, she rolled her eyes and she said, Donald. That's easy for you to say. You're Donald Trump. And he went, no. I mean, like, he never missed the beat. He went like, no. No one should ever quit. And she went, oh. And she leaned in and she put her hand on him, like I remember, like, on his lap. And she said, surely, Donald, some people should quit. And he said, no. No one should ever quit. And then he took a, a phase back. And again, I'm paraphrasing this, but this is how I remember it. And I remember him saying, if you're talking about that person who gets to the wall and says, I'm going to go through the wall, I'm going to go through the wall, I'm going to go through the wall, that guy should quit. Because he hasn't figured out that sometime it isn't about going through the wall. It's about figuring it out how to get around the wall. So in my thinking, I'm thinking, okay, can I get over the wall? What does it take to get under the wall? Or maybe I'll get around the wall. And you might be walking that wall for what seems like an eternity. Most people will quit. I can honestly say anything that I've really, really, really cared about, I'll quit. Einstein, and you've heard me say this before, Einstein once said, it's not that I'm so smart. I just stick with a problem longer. That's going around that wall. You see guys, God doesn't put these walls up in front of you. 
keep you out. I believe, again, my belief, God puts those walls up in front of us to show us how bad we want it. So let's go to Trump. And there's times where he's up, she's up, and they're going back and forth, and they're slinging a lot of stuff at each other. Well, that lasts 30 days, that lasts 15 days. How Trump kept up and kept pushing forward. Forget if you like him, love him, hate him, I don't care. You got to respect he never quit. Now, either did Hillary. And there was a time where a bunch of times where it looked like she had it. She was actually laughing a little bit because she felt so good about it. Like, you never know what's coming. And for you personally, just take what the never giving up part. Forget all the politics because I'm not a politician. I'm not a Democrat or a Republican. I think wrestling's real compared to politics. So I don't really get involved in it, but I'll take lessons that I've learned from Bush, Obama, Clinton, Trump, and I'll take those little lessons. I don't have the experience of things they go through to use them in my everyday life. Either do you. No matter what's happened in your life, what wall, what adversity knocks you on your ass, get back up and just keep moving forward. I don't care if it's the way you eat, how much you weigh, what's happening in your personal life or your professional life. In our personal lives and our professional lives, we are constantly hit with one adversity after another, most of which we have no control over. But the one thing you have control over is the way you think. You have total control with the way you react, how you adapt, and how you take action. And oh yeah, you control the way you breathe. You may not today, but you want to be working on it because your breath and on the DDP Yoga Now app, bang, whole section on breathing. Teaching you how to breathe. Have you used it yet? Well, you need to. Because your breath will absolutely control the way you react, how you adapt, and how you take action. I'm going to close off right here and say, think about it. But I'm also going to play a clip from Saturday Night Live. And again, I'm not a politician. There's times I was a Trump fan. There's times I was a Hillary fan. But when it came all down to it, there's times that I hated what Trump was saying. I hated what Hillary was saying. You know, again, this isn't about the politics. I want to play something for you that David Chappelle said on Saturday Night Live this week. And it was pretty profound. And I'm telling you, I pretty much agree with him. And after you see that, you think about that. And again, you control it all. Never give up. So, in that spirit, I'm wishing Donald Trump luck. And I'm going to give him a chance. And we, the historically disenfranchised, demand that he give us one too. Thank you very much. <laughs>